Alright, so today I decided to make a video on my 2002 Toyota Celica, as you guys see behind me right here. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit of background information on the car. It's 2002, 2003 Toyota Celica GT. High speed manual transmission um, currently has 275,000 miles on it. I swapped the engine, I got a new engine for it. Um, I think back in August of last year because it was burning a lot of oil and it was absolutely crazy. Um, the wheels that you're currently seeing right now on this car are um, 18 by 9.5 in the rear, 18 by 9.5 in the front. Um, I currently have 5mm spaces in the back, ideally this car obviously. Um, I love this car, it's a fantastic car. Finding wheels for these cars, you can literally find them off of any Subaru WRX or any Subaru um, Impreza. Just under 5x100. Um, these cars are fun to drive. Um, fitment on these are actually perfect, like I'm not running spaces in the front. These are 18 by 9.5 and, and I'm not running any spaces in the front and the fitment's really like perfect. Um, I love about this car a lot is the fact that I can get good gas mileage and it makes a fantastic um, economy car, especially with these gas prices uh, going absolutely crazy. Um, it's fantastic. I daily this thing on 18s all the time. Um, during the summer, during the winter, I put 16s on um, with winter tires. Um, another thing I really like about this car is the fact that I can go on back roads and I can just have a blast with it. Obviously it's not fast, but um, taking back roads on this car is absolutely fantastic. Um, it handles very, very well depending on your setup and what you have. On my car I have Megan coilovers on this car which feels absolutely fantastic. Even better than my stock 20 year old um, struts I had in this car. It felt, it felt horrible. Um, but inside the main coilovers made a day and night difference, so I recommend you guys get coilovers if you guys do. Um, I've had this car since 2017. Um, it was my car that got me to college and back, and it was a car that got me through a very, very tough time when money was absolutely tight. Um, I have an exhaust on this car, it's an NVIDIA catback. Extremely hard to find due to the supply demands of metal. Um, and aluminum etc etc um, but I bought the exhaust brand new off Facebook marketplace and it cost me $250 for it love the note love everything about the exhaust um, if you guys want to get the Magnaflow resonator which this car obviously has it um, as I replaced the cat and everything for emissions um, it makes the big it makes a little bit of a difference but it makes a noticeable difference if you hear it um, I have a Canon drop-in filter that I got back in 2019 I still have it just because of the little horsepower that I might get um, out of the filter which isn't much but still something that um, makes a difference especially when you're daily driving the car cold air intake I've heard it th because of the heat that the engine already produces um, it's not a good idea on the cold air obviously because of the rain since you're daily driving it you're probably gonna drive it through a lot of heavy rain conditions um, it's not good because obviously I'll hydro lock the engine um, in the interior of the car, there is actually a lot of Galaxy stuff. I did the headliner myself. That probably cost me around like $150. I think the whole, um, it was probably like five feet that I wasted on headliner. And then the adhesive, obviously, it took me about a whole day to dry everything up. Um, aftermarket eBay headlights that I have on this car. I've had them, I had the headlights for maybe about like a year. I put them on during the winter and during the summertime, they started fading. So if you guys are playing getting eBay headlights aftermarket, headlights or like black housings and stuff like that, make sure you get something of quality. I paid probably about like $120 for the headlights, um, which obviously they didn't last, so I wouldn't recommend. Um, TRD front bumper, as you guys can tell. Um, the side skirts, let's see if I can scooch over a little bit so you guys have a rough idea what it looks like. Um, TRD side skirts. Rear, rear um, bumper, TRD style also. Um, those came with the car. Um, initially, I had paid 1200 for the car um, due to the fact that I had higher mileage. Um, basically, how that situation went was it had 200, 220,000 miles when I bought it. 
I replaced the engine at 275,000 and I put a new engine with 140,000 miles from a 2007 Corolla, but they had to replace the upper oil pan, um, which was a little bit of a pain, but they had the chance to look through everything. Um, lightweight flywheel, lightweight um, flywheel, obviously stage one clutch. It makes a difference, the flywheel definitely makes a difference because of the fact that the car is just, it's, it's a very slow car. Um, it's a very, very slow car, especially at a get-go when you're trying to get from exit to exit, um, hopping onto an exit, um, and just trying to pass cars. You realize that the stock flywheel is just, it's just not, it's not quick. So that's why I had to get with the lightweight flywheel because now it's more responsive. Um, now I can get out of the highway, I can get on the highway a little bit faster, a little bit quicker, which makes a big difference in my opinion, like I said, especially when you're daily driving this type of car. Um, what else have I done to this car? I have stickers all over the interior of the car. It doesn't make a big difference. Just adds horsepower. Um, window tints, 20%. Um, short shifter. I did the short shifter. I went with a Rev9 short shifter. Um, I think it cost me like $85. Um, love the short shifter. It makes a big difference because the problem with the Celicas is I feel like with the GT is that the throws are very... Um, they're very long. Like I feel like you're almost... Um, shifting a seven inch stick um, and I think it brings it down at least to like five inches or something like that and when you're daily driving the car especially with a weighted shift knob it makes a big difference with the tougher bushings that it comes with the short shifter obviously and the heavier shift knob it makes a big difference especially with the lightweight flywheel and all the other things that it comes with um, it makes a big difference if I was to were to get a Celica again and I had to start over from top to bottom. I'd get coilovers as my first thing. I'd get the short shifter as my second thing. A lightweight flywheel and the stage one clutch. And I'd probably get, um, I think that's really about it. Those were the three things that I'd probably do first thing. But um, spoiler, I forgot to mention TRD also. Um, I'd gotten that with the car. The whole body kit came with the car. Um, these body kits are very, very hard to find too. If you find one, no matter if it's a GT, GTS and it has a TRD body kit and you pay less than a thousand dollars on it or around a thousand dollars on it The body kit will literally sell by itself. So if you find one with the body kit Just buy it no matter how high the mileage is you can you can flip the body kit for maybe around like eight hundred dollars If you really wanted to um, I had to replace the rear arm on this car the rear arm was a little bit of a pain, but you obviously have to get an alignment um, it's like three hundred dollars for the rear arm, but it was my mistake personally because I was trying to take the rear wheel bearing out and I had put pressure on the arm, put the new bearing on and then what I forgot to do was since I snapped the alignment bolt I, I used a hardware bolt and I didn't realize that the alignment bolt was for the alignment obviously. I wasn't paying attention to these things new, completely new to cars um, or at least new to this alignment thing. Um, so I didn't realize that, so that's why that's where I messed up. And the arm ended up eventually cracking from edge to edge. Um, eventually, which would have happened was the wheel would have ripped off, but I had saved it um, early enough. Um, the hearts, I got them off um, SB. I forgot where I ordered them, but they were like, um, I think it was like Stance, Stance Gang or something like that. It was like 80 bucks for the broken hearts. They're holographic hearts. So at night, if you shine light at them, they actually look silverish almost. Um, which makes the car look absolutely beautiful, especially with the machine silver um, Whistler rims. Um, I forgot to mention about the offset of these wheels actually. These are 18 by 9.5 with a positive 35 offset. On 235, 45 R18 tires are stretched. Um, I think that's all the information you guys should need on the rim. Oh, these are Whistler KR1s, by the way. So I know I was forgetting something. And I think that's really all that I've done to this car so far. I installed my own custom fog lights too. I got those advanced auto parts. Those were special. They were like $20. If you guys have to run those wires at all for the fog lights, I'd ran them to a switch that it came with and the positive and negative from the battery. Um, carbon fiber hood, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a carbon fiber hood on this car. Um, I got that hood for free out of a parts car before I even got this Celica. And 
besides everything being anime fied and the custom anime brackets in the back this is sponsored by big anime titties obviously I'm an anime fan if you haven't noticed um, no, I don't have headers on this car um, the, hand, the headers stock um, and I'll just try to give you a quick walk around on the car all right, let me flip this camera around. These are the wheels. They mount completely flush. Like, look at that. That's awesome. That's like perfect. Headlights, like I was saying, started fading. Um, Charity front bumper, man, anti license plate. People love it. Wheels, Fitme is pretty good. Um, I'd recommend removing the wheel lining when you're placing these wheels on. Back, as you can tell, the shiny thing in the back, I'm running a 5mm spacer. I daily this car, it's fantastic. Um, my interior, check out my interior. That's my interior. Probably gonna get roasted for it, but um, it's whatever. Um, I wrap the top. If you guys have any questions about, and about this whole build at all, let me know. Um, I'll be more gladly to answer your questions in the comments below. Ready rear bumper spoiler, the third brake light, so you know that's not fake. Um, and yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know, leave a like, leave a comment, follow it, um, and keep me posted. See you guys later. Peace out.